ene yi enkura enu ya ye wo mfofro ye de so wo nmanu mu no eho aye de pa wo my gun mu bi e kedi na so komra so be jefie mu ekokuma e wo ho no mu dia wo mu hu se disaster ye ni hu kwan sa ban tena ne to so kra e mu nkire mu adom tv kase e to so to be jefie e chese aban hwe han ya wa ye enti enama se se bambo pani a wo de e be wo e mo fra e bi eni o man mu na se entem abeto dwase ayaresabia a wo do eni bambo pani ye vaccines a wo de e wo mo fra afi ni wa wo mo ekokoduru emfie enu enu nti edom kuma kasa mafo a wo kasa e de fa apomuden sem ho abana menta kando e chwe mu se enya de a wo mo pekasa tentin bia ye wo mo pa eni se o ha wo e wo ho no aso ye hwe o man apomuden suo e betimi aso anu we started recording measures in this country around October 2022, four clear months ago. This is an emergency situation. And the minister and the government, this is a clear failure of government, have looked on four months, four clear months ago. And we still don't have vaccines in our system. I think that this is unpardonable because in the planning for vaccines procurement and aid deployment, we are supposed to plan ahead. So for example, we look at the allocation for vaccines for 2024 in 2023. We look, for, uh, we look at the vaccines allocation for 2023 in 2022. So why have you run short of these vaccines? And which he occurred to us to say a bonesa to ye, I do want Sabesha one demi firm, Amabamba Pani and Wakwa tree, a woman more, I do how ever bre a mofra. Every child in this country, per the 1992 constitution, has the right to good health care. I believe that the minister responsible for health and the president, the vice president, they all had the opportunity to immunize their children, including their grandchildren. And somebody created that opportunity. In some jurisdiction, it is even a crime to sit aloof to allow the shortage of vaccines in your country to look on whilst vulnerable children are getting infected with diseases that can easily be prevented or avoided. <laughs> 